Preservation Bloomfield held its Preservationist of the Year event on April 21st to honor longtime Bloomfield Township resident and clerk Jan Ronselli for her commitment to local preservation. I, my parents moved to Bloomfield Township in 1964. They bought a two and a half acre plot of land and built a house and they wanted us to have uh, better schools. So we moved out here and I was a graduate of Groves High School. We were in the Birmingham, Bloomfield Township and in the Birmingham School District. We have homes that are over a hundred years old and preserving them in that history is so important. Learning about the past, how they used to look, how they lived, what the colors were. Preservation Bloomfield is a nonprofit community organization between Bloomfield Township, the City of Bloomfield Hills, the Bloomfield Hills School District, and the Bloomfield Historical Society, formed to preserve and protect the Benjamin Barton Farmhouse and Craig Log Cabin located at the Bowers School Farm. I think, you know, the board is happy to have this event today. Um, it's been a long time coming and it's uh, a place where we showcase the preservationists of the year, which we're really proud of. Uh, it's a chance for us to get together as a group and uh, extend to the community and also it's pretty good we can raise some money because this whole event is um, in honor or it goes into our endowment fund which is great for the sustainability of our group and when we have someone like Jan and we publicize that we're going she's going to be the preservationist she's so popular that it helps our attendance so we're really grateful she's a rock star well preservation Bloomfield is an organization that Actually, uh, since I was a kid in high school, I, I watched this organization come together as they were saving the uh, Benjamin Barton Farmhouse, uh, which now today sits at the Bowers School Farm property. Um, I remember actually the day when we had the parade down Square Lake Road as this house literally uh, on wheels came rolling down um, as people stood outside and cheering and excited to see a piece of Bloomfield history get saved. Well, it's really, uh, one of the ways I put it is like a time machine. Uh, it really takes you back into the mid-1800s when those structures were built, and there's no such thing as an actual time machine, so that's the closest thing we have. And it's just fascinating to watch the community come through, especially the log cabin where I spent a lot of Saturdays. Uh, kids coming through, families coming through, and they're just really um, intrigued by the history and the story of the 11 kids that lived there. Preservation is, is important. For one, it, it preserves community identity. Where do we come from? Uh, which also informs where we go. And in the case of the farm, having the Barton Farmhouse and the Craig Log Cabin there, it, it provides a tourism outlet. So people come and they visit and it's a gathering place. Um, you know, it also is a, a learning resource for the students of Bloomfield Hills Schools and, and the 15 other schools that, that visit us annually um, to take a, a look back in time. What did life uh, look like or what was life like in 1850. If it wasn't for Preservation Bloomfield and the foresight of these uh, community members who raised the money to save the buildings, we wouldn't have them there today. The work of the board is supported by the Friends of Preservation Bloomfield. Friends member Claudine Basher led the proceedings at the event. The Friends of Preservation Bloomfield are paid, paid memberships and they are the people who are interested in uh, raising the funds to support the goals of the Preservation Bloomfield and the historical aspects of what we need to do to raise money for the, for the farm. Jan, well, they broke the mold when Jan got elected and served as clerk. I don't think there will ever be as good of a clerk as Jan Ronselli. She cares about everyone. Nothing was political with her. Didn't matter who you were, where you came from, if you needed help, what political party you belonged to, nothing mattered to her but helping the residents of Bloomfield Township and making it a better place for us. I'm just so proud of her. She's sort of an institution, I think, in, in, in Bloomfield life, and now she's retired and we're here celebrating her today. It's, it's a, a, a very humble honor because I worked with so many volunteers that did so much more and were so much more involved than I was. But I believed in this legacy and I wanted to see it continue and I was happy to do anything I can, I could, to make it possible for them to have their events and raise funds and be part of all of that. 
To watch the Preservationist of the Year presentation in its entirety, follow the link in the video description below. To learn more about Preservation Bloomfield, visit their website, preservationbloomfield.org, where you can subscribe to their newsletter.